Dear Diary Yuji Hirayama once said, If a tree falls in the forest and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? It's all well and good being happy with one's life, but if nobody else knows you're happy, what's the point? Look at these guys. They knew the score. At some point, climbing poxy roots on forgotten crags whose name nobody can even spell just doesn't cut the mustard. There's so much more out there in the big wide world, and like the great explorers before them, there comes a time in one's life when one must go forth to the promised land, in search of greatness. America, land of the free, home of the brave. The people who came to America during a vast migration from Europe to other parts of the world. Lost souls have been immigrating to her shores for centuries in search of the American dream. And during the glorious, lycra clad decades of the 80s and 90s, Europe's climbing great proved themselves time and time again on a magnificent and mighty wall. Top climbers test themselves on each other's roots, and Jerry Moffat from England has succeeded on many of America's hardest climbs. If I truly wanted to do something worthwhile with my life, I had to make it big in America. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done. You see, normally, to become great, you need to be good at something. That's just common sense, right? <sighs> Over the course of the last year. I'd almost given up hope, when one day, something miraculous happened. And distinct privilege to introduce to you the president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. If Donald Trump could become the president of the greatest country on earth, then anything was truly possible. It seemed like being good is sometimes just a matter of perspective, and telling people things loudly enough can sometimes make them true. Greatness was there for the taking. I just needed to find a sneaky enough plan. Just like elections are not won or lost in California, I would never find my greatness in places like the Valley or Indian Creek. There's too much history there, too many strong climbers, and most of the hardest projects have already been done. I needed to find somewhere that few people had ever heard about, then climb some random chunk of choss, tilt the camera a little, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, you need a relay? <sighs> oh, Carolyn, you're ruining the shot. To seal the deal, I'd refuse to grade the route, focusing instead on the beauty of the line and the purity of the experience. In today's social media obsessed world, a dramatically titled, fancily edited video is worth far more than the truth itself. Ladies and gentlemen, U.S. Airways welcomes you to Nashville, local times, 12 minutes I guess I'm ready. My efforts to fit in seemed to be going down well, and I'd even begun to make some new friends. But the language barrier was still proving complicated. Oh, how are you doing, man? I really couldn't find you for a while there. I guess I must have given you the wrong phone number or something because, well, I mean, you said you were going to text me with where you were going this morning, but I didn't get anything, so maybe we should, we should check that. Come on, come on, you can do it, don't give up. Come on, you I'd hoped that my background really of English would set me up well. But learning American was one of the hardest things I've ever done. So anyway, uh, have you been okay? Uh, yeah. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I don't see anybody else here, so you gotta be talking to me. I'm 
faster than you. After what seemed like an faster age, but in reality was probably only 4 minutes and 37 seconds, I was ready to take things to the next level. I was in the best form of my life. The conditions were great, everything was awesome, and nothing could stand in my way. I just needed to find a route. I'd assumed that finding the greatest route in the world would have been an easy task in the US. After all, Sharma used to find one at the end of every dosage movie. But in reality, it was pretty tough. After my first day of searching and coming up empty-handed, I was almost ready to give it all up. Perhaps this was all a waste of time. Who am I kidding? I'll never be great. I'm a worthless nobody with no money, no home and no hope. How did I end up like this? This is the United States of America, the, the greatest, greatest country in the world, and it's in great hands. Trust me, I know. The American dream is so great. It's true. But it has been a tremendous surge of bullshit recently, bullshit. and that's what we want. Because of all that bullshit, if you're smart like me, you can do anything you like. Me. Can you imagine how you can achieve without telling the truth? truth? If you fail, there will be consequences. The adult male is always on the prowl. Keen to show the rest of his congress just how big and powerful he is. Used to getting what he wants, when he wants. Little thought goes to the well-being of others, even during rare, intimate moments. I know it sounds crazy. But in this messed up world we're living in, is this really the strangest thing you've heard this week? That one. The time had come to put it all on the line. To take everything I'd ever learned. Everything I'd ever wanted. I'd ever dreamed of. To risk it all on one roll of the dice. One turn of the wheel. A moment of resolution, of evolution, a goddamn revolution. The time had come to go beyond the Moses. Groovy. Oh. Oh. I can't do this anymore. I'm just gonna go climbing. Oh.
啊！Dear diary, so here we are again, at the end of another tale. This one's been about me and my adventures in the USA. It's been eventful, but no more than a million stories that have come before. I had a dream, I climbed a route, I tried hard, and that's about it. Does it need to be anything more than that? In our mixed-up world of ever-decreasing attention spans, we've become so obsessed by hashtags and character limits that we've forgotten about the story itself. We consume content like a fat man consumes cake, never stopping to appreciate the taste and wondering why we never feel full anymore. It's ironic that in a world ruled by convenience, we complain constantly that we're running out of time. Perhaps we all need to reassess how much information we really need. Slow down. Breathe and open our eyes.